Hello dears, today I want to show you how we can model a culvert in Hercrest. We have this channel and we create a box uh, culvert which has three barrel and we draw profile for three discharge 250, 500, 750 meter cube per second. The reach length is 100 meter and the bed slope is 0.003. We see the height of the channel 5 meter and Side slope 1, 1, and the bed width is 40 meter. Means the total length of the channel is 5, uh, 50 meter. Let's open HECRAS. File, new project. Determine your directory. Here yeah, I help convert. Okay. Okay, good. Option, unit system. Select SI system. Good. You see SI units. Then from here, create a reach. Name, any name. Arrive one. Okay. Then from cross section, option, add a new cross section. Station zero. Good. From zero, elevation is 80. From five, elevation 75. From 45, elevation 75. From 50. Elevation is 80. Okay. In coefficient 0. 0.013. Control copy. Control V. Control V. Left bank is 0. Right bank is 50. Apply. That's our channel cross section. Then from option, add a new cross section. Copy current cross section. Good. 100. Okay. Use that calculator. Okay. Use that the downstream cross section its elevation is 80 80 and the bed slope is 0.003 from 100 time is 0.003 it means we have to add 0.3 meter to the upstream cross section okay from option adjust elevation is just apply 0.3 okay here 100 meter Control copy, control V, control V, that's all. Apply data. Good. That's our channel. Then from tools, interpolation 100 for upstream, downstream 0. Let B each 20 meter interpolate. Yes. Here you can file, uh, save your geometry, save geometry data if you want. Okay. Then from bridge culvert option add a bridge and culvert determine a uh, station i determine 50 station 50 okay then from deck distance let be 10 meter 10 meter above cross section above the structure we just let be 10 also station zero high chord 80 80 75 Control copy, select it, control V. Okay, it's good. Then from culvert, you can select it which shape you want. I select box. Span, let be nine meter. Rise, let be four meter. Distance to upstream, 10 meter. Culvert length is 10 meter. Okay, 0 0.013, 0 0.013, control copy. Control V, okay. Upstream invert elevation. We know elevation of the upstream upstream invert it become seventy five point, and downstream invert elevation it means at forty. So just forty times o point o o three. We have to add o point twelve for seventy five. So it become seventy five point twelve. We want three barrel. Two, three, station, uh, upstream station, let be 10 or 11. Okay, 25, 39. Good. Control copy, control V. What's wrong? We have to select it rectangular concrete side type radius. I think everything is good. Now it's good. Okay, that's our culvert then we can uh, add data 
we need three discharges okay I said 250, 500, 750 and reach boundary for upstream let be normal depth and it's slope 0.03 okay downstream let be critical depth okay good you can save your data I don't save it you can save it run mix it compute good let's see the result okay if we see it is for that's energy grade line that's what surface that's critical depth this one critical depth okay then for other discharges you see that's for 250 this is for 500 you see it is it can't uh, discharge this amount of water also for 700 uh, for 750 it can't discharge this flow so we reduce it from data flow data i change it to 200 150 300 okay then run mix it compute okay now let's see the result from cross section this one is full it means it fails for the first one it wanted is good for 250 also is good but for 300 it's not good you see water surface above energy grade line above the uh, top of the culvert let's see the long profile profile okay good then from view xyz you can see the angle okay also you can see from cross section you can see the velocity okay it shows velocity in the channel that's all i hope it can be helpful have a nice time